Hey everybody, it's Harry from Sepayani Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I was working on shooting an episode with the Mangalista pork and uh, I realized that I have a piece of uh, Spanish pork, the world famous Iberico pork in my freezer. So what I decided to do is since I'm already cooking a Mangalista butt, we're gonna do a cook on the Iberico pork also to do a side-by-side -side taste test. So in this uh, Iberico pork episode, we're just gonna cook this pork shoulder piece to perfection. We're also going to you know, do a taste comparison of this meat and we're gonna compare it against my Mangalista pork also. So Iborico is uh, from Spain. It's a very world famous Spanish style pork. It's kind of like the Kobe of pork. Uh, this piece here is just a very small piece, but this cost, I believe, $100. Uh, I was able to find an online pur purveyor who was able to carry this. It's imported all the way from Spain. This must be some muscle on the shoulder. Super marbled. Wow, actually gorgeous. Not sure what muscle this is from the shoulder, but it says here, Iberico pork shoulder. It's called a Secreto Iberico, product of Spain. It says Iberico pork shoulder muscle. All right, let's season it up and cook it. All right, looks beautiful. Ready to give it a sear here. A little bit of butter on the uh, Iberico pork here. Check the temp. 147, that's perfect. The Iberico pork shoulder muscle is perfectly cooked. You can see how beautiful it is. Look at that. I'm gonna brush a little bit of uh, melted butter. Slice it up into the taste test here. If you're wondering what knife I'm using, this is a Dalstrom Shogun series chef knife. Super duper cool knife. If you are looking for something like that, treat yourself. Look in the video description below for the Amazon store link. I've been using um, Dal Strong knives for a while now and they sent me a set because uh, they saw me mangling my meat and their knives are absolutely, absolutely amazing. While I'm slicing this meat, uh, let me tell you a little bit quickly recap about what this particular meat is. So this pork actually comes from the Black Iberian Pig which is uh, found in Portugal and Spain, and they live in the Iberian Peninsula, which is that kind of mountainous region you see on the Atlas, covering the southern Spain and Portugal. It's a very old breed of hog going back at least 12,000 years, predating any kind of domestication. And uh, they eat uh, acorns and nuts, that's, and other stuff they forage from the forest. That's why the meat is absolutely fantastic flavor. It got a lot of what we call uh, unsaturated oleic acid, the same kind of acid that you find in the Kobe beef and it's an unsaturated acid that when you eat it, it has a very, very wonderful flavor in your mouth. It's kind of like Kobe, Kobe beef and uh, in order for you to sell this meat, that's why it's so expensive. This piece that you see here, that small piece costs like just over a pound, cost me $50 plus another $50 to ship it overnight from the uh, Second City Prime Foods, which carries the uh, Iberico imported from Spain. Uh, in order for you to sell this, you got to be certified as a farmer who is authorized to raise and sell these Iberian pigs because uh, it takes a lot longer to grow. The pigs are really smaller and there's a lot less meat because the hog is so small. And uh, this is just absolutely, absolutely amazing meat. Let me take a look at this one here. Show you how this beautiful thing looks here. And uh, super tender. It's got a kind of a pink texture to it. That's absolutely amazing pork here. Wow, this is uh, actually quite incredible. And I've eaten a lot of pork from around the world, from the Great Waddles to the heritage breeds like the Kurobota land race, uh, uh, we call Durops uh, and Mangalistas. And uh, this Iberico is definitely in a class of its own. The oiliness, unctuousness, the flavor, the natural pork sweetness, it, it's all there. And then that's the difference when you get, when you eat a heritage breed, like you eat a Mangalista, or you eat a uh, something like Iberico. Uh, these heritage breeds 
are there for a reason because they've been around for so long. They haven't been kind of crossbred into a mass-produced uh, hog like the land, the land race. The land race is the common commodity pork species that you find across all of America. They're bred for kind of size and for speed to market and uh, for resistance to disease uh, and they don't forage and they go out and eat. Uh, you can almost feel like you are eating food from the Spanish countryside that the acorns and the nuts and the oaks and all the food of the forest is, is infused into the flavor of the meat. That, that, that's the only way I, I can describe this kind of a experience. It's kind of expensive and this is about $100 worth of meat with $50 of it is just shipping to have it flown overnight to you. But if you have a special occasion, you want to really experience and taste what Mother Earth can produce coupled with the hard work, the dedication of these farmers or these ranchers in Portugal and Spain who raised this uh, black pig, uh, Iberian pig. Uh, this is absolutely, absolutely good eating. Definitely worth a treat. Definitely worth a bucket list item to taste. It's so good, I'm gonna have another bite. This is just absolutely a surreal experience. That flavor is absolutely out of this world. So thanks for watching this video, but the video is not over until I give Mr. Beans a small piece um, and let him try some Spanish Iberico pork. Some people claim that this is the best pork in the world. Uh, having tasted a small little sample like this, I have to agree. Uh, definitely, it's in my books. as one of the best tasting natural heritage pork breeds in the world. Okay, Beans, I have something really special for you. We always feed you some really expensive Japanese Kobe beef and Wagyu steaks. Today is something really, really special, which I think you'll like. This is a Spanish Iberico Peninsula pork, considered some by some one of the best pork breeds in the world. Let you give a taste here. Go, go beans. He's chomping down the Iberico pork and he's wolfing it down. Thumbs up from Mr. Beans here. Thanks for stopping by watching my Iberico pork episode. I had really a lot of fun cooking it. Probably one of the best pork I've eaten in the world. So please like, subscribe and share and want to do a shout out to all my Patreons for helping me keep the channel going by helping me cover production costs. Now that this is over, I actually am going to cut this into another video where I actually have a chance to compare a throwdown between the Iberico against a couple of other pork breeds I end up cooking today because today was designated a pork day on my Sunday. <music>